hey guys welcome back to my channel once again in this video i'm going to be talking about seven unusual things that cause car accidents on the road yeah seven unusual things if you think this is something you're interested in if you think this is something watch then you definitely want to keep on watching my video to the end guys So hey guys, welcome back once again. If you are seeing this face for the first time, hi, I'm Barakat Amzat. And if you're not, thanks for sticking with me. In this video, as I said earlier, I'll be talking about seven unusual things that cause deadly accidents on the road. So let us get right into the video. The first one is going to be a bottle water container. A bottle, yes, you are thinking a bottle water container, but it should cause accidents. Yes, how is it going to cause accidents? <laughs> Let me tell you how it's going to cause accidents. The driver, you are drinking water. Nobody's telling you not to drink the water, actually, but you are drinking water. And then you just leave the bottle in your space, the driver's space. The bottle water tends to roll a lot because you are driving. Yeah, you are driving your car. So when it gets to the brake side, you will not know now. You are not even seeing anything. Okay, you are not checking down that, okay, something is wrong. You are just looking front. You are going on your own. Okay, let us now assume that a car is coming. You need to stop for the car to pass. Okay, let me just put my leg on the brake for the car to stop. And then the bottle water is already stocked in that brake space. What are you going to do? Nothing. Because there's no way no how you are going to try to press it that is going to press. And then you tend to eat somebody. You eat somebody or you eat something. So that is why I said, don't put bottle water trash can in the driver's space, period. And then you are good to go. So I'll be giving you a solution and it is actually a tip. Please and please, when you finish drinking your bottle water, throw it away. If you can't, don't drink water at all. Yeah, don't even bother to drink water. Abby, don't drink water. Don't cause any accident on the road. Be, or like be, be, be caution. Have caution. Don't do do don't um don't do don't just do something that will make you make you wanna don't do something that will kill you. So don't drink water, don't drop it in your space. See, there's always another space in the car. You can throw it there, you can throw it anyhow, throw it anyhow, nobody will tell you not to throw it. So throw it. Next up is going to be normal driving in the rain. Yeah. See, this one is not so hard. It is something that I can do. So I don't see reason why you are going to be driving in the rain. Yeah. When it is when it is raining, like okay, sometimes it suddenly happen. So that moment, I think you are just supposed to drive on a normal speed. There's nothing like driving fast for you to get home early or for you to get to your appointment early. Don't drive fast. Drive on a normal um, speed. There's nothing like okay. Well, um, because I need to get to this appointment. No, your life is more better than the appointment. You can always work for another one. So I think be, when car is like when the rain is falling, like you, okay, it's happened suddenly. What I expect you to do is just to stop your car. Is it that you stop it, or you move at a normal speed? Yes, your wheel screen, the the wheel screen is still working and everything is still working. But that does not mean the accidents cannot happen because you don't know what is going on in the front. You don't know what is going on in the back. So you need to like drive on a normal speed and then you are good to go. There's no stress. There's no stress. They just enjoy. Next up is going to be targeting. Yes, targeting. What am I targeting? Yes. But there are some people that tend to run after somebody on the road. I don't know. Maybe you guys are fighting. You don't know each other. That's just the problem. You don't know the person you want to target. But you, ah, well, I need to just, I mean, which kind of car is going on the road? But, well, then, shut it up. Let me overtake this car. Let me do this. <laughs> See, don't target anybody. When you are on the road, eh, you are inside your car. There's no thing like you are running. I don't know. See, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about all this um, damn food driver in Nigeria I'm seeing right now. All this cab driver or anything. They are always rushing to pick uh, passengers. But you are in your personal car. So why, who are you targeting? Who are you running after? I, mean, I do not understand. You guys just need to like what? Don't target anybody on the road. Stay on your lane. Drive on your normal speed. Don't rush. Don't do anything. And then you're good to go. Accidents will not happen. Bad thing will not happen to you. Please, guys, you just need to, like, make sure you are doing the right thing at the right time. Don't target anybody. Also, I think when you're targeting somebody, you don't know, like, you're not that sure when the person is going to stop. And then you're just rushing to meet the person. I know. I must meet this person. 
I must do this. You don't know when the car is going to stop. Oh. And the car just suddenly stop. You are still on that fast speed. What do you expect? You eat that car or you eat something. Or you even, like, there's a lot of accidents that can happen during that moment. So I don't think it is necessary for you to, like, just target anybody. Go on your own. Even if you are looking for somebody, it's going to stop at a certain point. And then when the person stops, you are going to meet the person. So what is bad day? Don't target anybody. Just hold on. Hold on, please. Next up is going to be animal crossing. See, this one is common in Nigeria. So I don't know about other countries yet, but this one is common in Nigeria. All those people that usually push cow, like, oh yeah, hey. <laughs> See, when animal is crossing on the road, no matter the country you are in, please just stop your car. Like, stop it. There's nothing like, okay, I will drive in a slow speed. Stop the car. Because you don't know when it is going to turn. You don't know when it's, where the um, animal is going. Yes, you see that it's going like this. But there are some crazy, crazy cow that will turn again. So what are you going to do? Don't just go near the animal at all. Let it just move. Let it go on its own and then you go your, on your own. There's nothing like I'll use my horn to tell these people to move on the road or anything. Please and please, when animal is crossing, you need to pause. Wait. Even if it is, I'm talking, even bike man, if you are looking at this video, if you are watching this video right now, please, if you are carrying passenger, hold on. There's no way you are running to. You see, see another customer. Please. Please. Hold, don't, 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 don't kill people. Don't kill anybody because you want to just get the money. Hold on. Let the animal pass before you just cross. Please and please. I'm begging you. Next up is going to be arguing with the backseat rider. You are the driver. They are fighting at the back. Please just focus on your own car. Or you should tell them to go, to go down. Focus on what you are driving. There's nothing like, okay, eh, eh, stop driving. No. Stop, stop, stop. Please, it's none of your business. You don't know what is happening on the road, but because you are arguing with them, you don't know what is going to happen. You don't know maybe you need to um, like press your brake at that moment. You don't know. You don't know what is going to happen. You don't even know maybe pothole is in the front. Oh. You are just shocked. Hey, stop it. I said you should stop it. I said you should... Please and please don't argue with them. See, if anything is happening at the back, in as much as they are not killing themselves, just move. Or you should park the car somewhere. And then you guys just settle to the matter the, the, please don't don't argue with anybody when you are driving anybody's car or your car self don't argue with them if they are at the back please shut up continue driving oh tell them to shut up don't shout at them don't do anything anything that is going to make you lose focus please don't do it yeah don't do it anything that's going to make you lose focus on the car don't just do it if they are shouting maybe you should park somewhere and then you just tell them to get down they should fight very well and you guys should enter back yeah, you can do it. It is just normal. But anything that is going to kill you that you are even driving the car, please don't do it. I'm begging. So don't argue with anybody driving in the uh, driving in the car, and don't argue with your backseat rider, please. Next up is going to be reversing without mirror. Mirror. I am guilty of it. Like this crime, I am guilty. In Nigeria, especially, we tend to do like I know expert name I'm an expert. Yeah. But when you're reversing without mirror, you don't know what is happening at the back. But you just want to reverse. You just want to do that professional style, which is not important when you're driving, please. So when you are driving, please make sure you're reversing with your mirror. That is why the side mirror are there. There are even some cars that you, you are seeing on um, the screen. So you are seeing your back. I think that one is important. That is the only reason why I would say that you will not reverse without car, without mirror. But if you don't have it, I want to do professional wahala. Hey. Don't do that too. So one thing is my advice for you is when you are when you are driving, when you are reversing, please make sure you are using your mirror or you are using your focus screen. There's always a screen that is showing your back. So please focus on it. If you can't, don't reverse without mirror. It is not good. You don't know what is happening on your side. You don't know what is happening at the back. You don't even know if another car is coming that you are not seeing. So don't reverse without mirror, please. And then we are good to go. Life is so easy. And the last but not the least is going to be driving without light. This one eh, is common at night. When some people are going to say, eh, professional enemy. Yes, I can drive the car like that. Don't, like, never ever drive a car without light. Because one, okay, you, you are the professional. You can drive it so nobody is seeing you. But those people at the front or people coming, okay, people coming at your back and still point their flash, um, their light to you. 
But people at the front did not know anything. And they want to leave us. Did they see you? No. Your light is not on. Anything can happen at that moment. You don't even know if another car is coming near you or your side or your left hand side or your right hand side. And they are going to eat you. So please make sure your, your, your light is on and then you are good to go. They, there's no stress in owning it. If it is sport, you can replay, you repair it now. There's no problem in doing all these things. So why are you just putting life so hard? Make sure your light is on and then you are good to go. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll be seeing you in my next one. Till then, stay fabulous and stay blessed. Bye guys.